Welcome back everybody. In our last video we left when we just finished the basics of our grid and had this status here that we had this two columns uh, one half of the container and one third um, spacing around or with our space around class and so far we, we really got a nice grid and how nice it is uh, I want to show you by adding some more rows and, and different column sizes. So let's create a new row here. Um, let's also give it gathers and mark it. And within I'm going to create a call. Call one of four with padding and also marked. And I will also create um, Oops, uh, column with column one of three. So really combining these different sizes doesn't have to be one of four and three of four. I can mix up one of four and one of three because remember all that changes is the width of our column. Also give this padding and our mark class so that we can see it. Okay, and now we get our a quarter sized um, container here and one third of the row here. And let's another row to it or another column, sorry. Column, we, we still got space for, let's say one of four padding mark. Okay, so now we get this added and I think this doesn't look too bad. Now let's see, uh, just a short check if I add space around here. We see, okay, no empty spaces added here. But when we resize our window, we can see it. And that is because if we have our window sized this width here, uh, we barely, if at all. I don't think we have any empty spaces here. So space around isn't doing anything in this case. And this is because we got 25% of our width for this column and for this column. So that's 50%. 33.3 for this column. So we're at 83%. And now you'd say, okay, so we should have 16% leftover space. Well, we got our gather here, right? We got our spacing here. We got our gathers here and as our overall width of the window isn't very broad, these gathers might well take up the remaining 16.6% .6 of our space. And therefore only if we make it broader, we get leftover space, which is then divided up between uh, all yeah, free spaces here. Okay, so and uh, vice versa, if we resize it to very small, it shrinks because by default every element inside of flex container is allowed to shrink. So we would have to prevent this by setting flex shrink to zero if we wanted it to overlap to the right. So okay, we get our next grid here. I'm just going to add some numbers again. Um, but actually, no, let's add some text in the middle, some lorem ipsum dummy text. Now you can see that all three children are, are stretched out vertically. Yeah? They, they are sized equally, even though only the middle one really needs the space. So if we wanted to change this behavior, we have to add some additional classes. And that's what we're going to do now. And now we're control we will take care about controlling the vertical spacing. So back to our row stuff, we got our space around center and, and so on classes. Now to take care about the vertical positioning, I'm going to say row. And the first class I want to give it is vertical start. And uh, we need the flex property for the container, the row of align items, flex start, row dot vertical, oops, end will be align items, 
flex end. Now we also got center and um, and stretch, which is the default. Vertical center, which is align items center. And row dot stretch just so that you could overwrite it if you wanted. Vertical stretch align items stretch. So we, as I said, this is the default. We don't have to set that for our row because yeah, it's already happening. So um, let's say. I want these to be at the end, vertical end. Okay, so I've now set it to vertical end and it didn't work at the beginning and that was because I actually forgot an I here. I just had, t oops, I just had temps. So I, uh, now it works. Or uh, it was at vertical end here. I was missing. But now it works. We got um, the left and the right box align to the bottom of our row and only the middle one stretches out the whole size and that's logical because it's the one which needs this size. Yeah, the, the row is flexing, it's, it's, it's uh, increasing in height to be able to hold this container and therefore this container takes all of its height. I think that makes sense, I hope so. Um, as I said, vertical Start would be another possibility. And if we were to set it to center, I should say if we say set it to vertical center, we now got everything centered. Okay, so that's our vertical positioning. And now there's there are really only two more things I want to add. The first thing is a tiny bug fix we have to do. As you can see, we got our empty column class here and we really only need one property in of here. And that is we need to set the box sizing to be border box so that the padding is actually included in our box. Now you can see that it directly changed so that we now got our space on the left and right here too. And that is because I explained to you why it could disappear if we have a very small screen like so, right? But this screen wasn't actually small enough. The reason why we had no empty spaces here was that not only the margins from the gutter was there, but, but this margin wasn't enough to take up the 16.6% .6 we have on leftover space here, remember? 25 plus 25 plus 33.3 .3 leaves us 16.7% empty space. This is not taken up by the margins, but as we didn't set the box sizing to border box, actually the padding of our containers wasn't added to its width. And therefore, not only the margins were part of the remaining space, but also the paddings, even though we couldn't see it, because for our eye, the padding is included in the border or box or in the box of this element, right? And that's why I set the box sizing to border box, which tells CSS, hey, you should include the padding in your total width. And now the width of 25% includes the padding of 16 pixels, and therefore we got leftover space on left and right. The last thing is I want to add is another column class. We got one of two, two, four, and so on. I want to add one which is called call fill. And all I provide here is the flex grow property and set it to one. Now, we, if we were to give this column here, this call fill class would tell it that it should fill the remaining space. And you can see this by the fact that we don't have our empty spaces on the left and right. So we can totally remove space around here because there is no empty space to, to divide it up. But instead, this box here will take all our empty space. If we were to set this to call fill, 
these two boxes would divide up the empty space and you already guessed it if we set this to call fill the middle box will do it now you think okay um all three boxes got a call fill property of one or a flex grow property of one now if you watched my flex box with you you'll know that they should divide it up equally right because everyone got a flex grow property of one which means you take a share of, of one in proportion to the other boxes of the remaining spaces and you take one and you take one so everyone should take one third well that's not the case because the middle one got this text in it if we were to remove this text now every box would be of equal size but as we have this text here flexbox recognizes okay this box probably needs more space because of this text whereas these boxes only have one character so this will take up the most space so let's set it back to one of three and now we got these two divide up the remaining space between them so now with this grid we created here you're really able to create a full working website obviously you got the possibility to add further functionalities to fine-tune it but this grid will really enable you to create a dynamic scaling layout I for my side have to say for my client projects I most of the time start up with my own code my own grid my own layout and I don't use frameworks like bootstrap um, except for when it really has to go very fast or it's a very standardized job a very generic website but most of the time I really work it up myself because you learn a lot more and you're a lot more flexible and in the end it's, it's less overhead um, your customer or ever any wizard of your, visitor of your site has to download right so you should really consider this and I'm interested in what you think about this series and about this grid and if you got any ex uh, positive experience, experiences rebuilding it using it I'm happy to hear from you so have a nice day. Bye.